everyone, welcome to the Master Duel Art Cradle AI Tournament. Today we are going to be doing a smaller tournament. Basically the last arc of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds that uh, the United States really didn't get much of it. But let's go look at our people who's participating in this tournament. Uh, got Luna versus Z1. Probably the slowest duel that we're going to have. Primo versus Jack, Lester versus Yusei, Ellsworth, which I have him having six samurais with his Aporia, Crow versus Sherry, Antonomy versus Leo, Callan versus Jacob, Paradox versus Akiza. That's good. I don't know why Callan's really here. He was in one episode in the anime, losing off screen, but. He was there, so decided let's throw him in. That was worse. He's just Sherry's friend, so let's add him too. Alright, let's head to the game. We have Luna. We have Zone or Z1. I would probably go back and forth on this name depending on who wins. Hopefully Luna's gonna win. I updated all the characters decks, so hopefully they run decently. Z1's playing Battle Scarred, which testing makes it so people don't want to attack him. Just gonna get an Archer away for another Archer. So many for Archer burning. The ending turn. Z1 is doing Ante. Showing come on. And Mahama is destroyed. Are we summoning that one come on young? Its effect is burn 500 and send the card back to the deck. I really want Luna to win this one. Because I think she might have the best chance to feed the Time Lords in my mind. Sunlight Unicorn's stronger. Time Lord's gone. Another Time Lord's back. This one inflicts 300 damage. You're going to go back to the top of the deck. And the card base down. Armored White Bear is on the field, getting the Unicorn Horn. And too afraid to attack right now. That's going to go back. Another Time Lauren's on the field. This one's not attacking for whatever reason. Then it puts card face down. Oh. That card. Time was on the field again. This one has some opponent's life points. So it looks like Luna might be losing this one. So there's a Kribo. Which really I don't think it's gonna help in this duel. I shuffled away. Time Maidens on the field. Start by itself to add a Metellon. She can special summon. And take half life points away again. No, this one's 300. Never mind. 900. Does not look good for Luna. Unicorn's on the field again. Giving the Unicorn Horn and a card face down. Discard level 10. Goes back to the deck. Time Maiden gets removed from play. Go just summon whichever one that one is. Uh, burn damage. Alright. Luna's losing. Round. Well, not rounds, but. Z1's moving on. Through zone. Next up is Primo versus Jack. Primo, Jack.
Where's Jack? Three, well, all four of the Aporia four each have very similar decks. They each just have different, I guess, boss monsters, which does change the deck a little bit. Jack starting with a Fire Rising thing. Red Resonator is on the field, gains some life points, not going to synchro again. Red Dragon Arfing this time. Skills destroyed. Skills on the field. Archfiend destroys it. Infinite Core is on the field, adding Mechlord Assembly. Assembly is activating, add lowering another Infinity Core. Sending one away to destroy a card so you can sp special s summon, I think. So we can get Weasel. That does another Weasel to the hand. Weasel effect absorbs the Archfiend. Destroys the Red Rising. Jack's already set up with a Dark Hole. But it gets negated. So a card face down. Now the skills on the field. Does not look good for the signers. Visual attacks, 55. Grandel's on the field now. Card face down. Field spell is activated. So you know the weasel. And that's called say no to that, I guess. Jack, last turn. He's gonna add a radicinator or try to. turn. Primo's moving on. Alright up. Next up is Lester versus Yusei. Lester and you say All right, you say playing three cards face down. Lester's turn. Using that thing to destroy itself to summon some other mech lords. Mech lord spell card adds some two cards and two cards face down. And he burns for 200. He summons his nitro and his steam synchron. And a card face down. You say is kind of. Tuner heavy, so might not be a good idea to, for him, but let's see what he can do about it.
We just put another card face down. Meckler destroys itself, summon another two Grandels. Skill says I want to summon get summoned too. Cobalt destroyed. Card face down. Combined for 500. Use this, put another card face down. Hopefully, it's a mirror force. Oh, scapegoat, that's something. Can buy yellow scapegoat, because they always suck the yellow. USA's turn, turn this around. Some Stardust Dragon. Turn to Tribute. Uh, Starlight Road activates. Another Starbucks on the field. God said no to that. It's getting life points released badly, but. Stardust destroys it. Or we miss in play. Stardust destroys it for real this time. I'm in core special summons. And machine assembly. Machine assembly activates, adding a skill to the hand. This card is spell card to destroy that card. That card's destroyed, so it gets another skill. Skill is able to steal another Stardust. Weasel says it can burn. You say tried turning, making a comeback, but it didn't really work. Looks like Z1's army is moving on. That's with Ellsworth with Aporia. Am I can Ellsworth helping Team You Say? Ellsworth Aporia? It was Aporia, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ellsworth got a little upgraded to his deck, so. Hopefully he can help move beyond the good side. Nashi Grandmaster. Ebony Seed and two cards who sound. Yes, when that mech lord thing, Astro whatever, but it gets destroyed. Legendary Six Samurai Sasuke, is it? Samura. And with that, Ellsworth has took a big dent into Aporia. After Glow is activated. Not sure what that exactly did, but. Sword Mouse on the field. Synchro Summon. Driven Daredevil. Using his boss monster to win. There's at least one hero moving on. Next up is Crow versus Sherry. Currently Crow's I mean uh, Sherry's being corrupted by evilness. So let's see if Crow can move on. Yeah, 
Gary says, reinforcement army to get Noble Knight Joanne. The shield bearer sacrifice itself to summon the horse thing. Or summon the horse thing now. Add another Noble Knight. It's gonna fuse. And Centaur Mina. I don't like that field spell card, but it was in her deck, so... I think it's destroyed, but now mass token, but steam effect. You can special summon some cl clouds. Or oh, he can summon all that. Gale destroys, Gale attacks. Card base down. Cherry summon Zumble Knight. Black boost activates. Same cloak, gets more tokens. Mask gets a little stronger, destroying the Gale. Playing two guards for sound and throws ending a stern. Mass token destroys the other mass token. Even though they don't look like mass to me, so I don't get it, but sacrifice that for that thing. Another mass token special summoned. That thing special summons itself now. Synchro summon. Looks like a big one. So when is sent, it's fact destroys the mass thing. I think those get special summoned. They guess it can't attack this turn. Horses summoned. Horses effect activates to get a normal knight. Another noble knight. Close makes another mass token. And that black green attacks. Another card face down. Two more cards face down. Delta Crow that activates, destroying that. It looks like good for Crow on side on this time. Another card face down. Josh, you made it! You missed a few rounds, I think, but you made it. He gets her horse back, and she's setting card. If only she didn't have that field spell, she would be fusing like ham. Dress set a trap, he acted. Now you see her summoning again. This time a six level monster. Armed wing. Arm wings attacks. Destroying the noble knight. Noble knight goes back to the hand. And he's gonna attack and. Pop the adversaries activates. Double Knights Joan's on the field again, getting destroyed to become a mass token. Uh, Sage if where is on the field now. Destroying Armed Wing. Black Wing Revenge is on the field, making a token. Two tokens. Five bad versus activate on Crow's side. Getting some of his monsters back. Shovel, grab two cards. And two cards face down. Uh, Necro Fear on. F summons the Mass Token. Necro Fear's effect. Summon Sorcerer de Fuer. That steals that. Synchro Summon. 
Uh, that's a big fusion. That's her boss monster, I think. Baron de Thrill. That adds Joanne back to the hand and Necro Flare to the hand. Ron destroys that. Sorcerer and they destroy the seal. Come on, Crow, you need to do something. I think Sherry has this one in the bag today. I thought she was going to lose it for a second, but... I guess Destinator is going to destroy Call of the Haunted for no reason. But Mirror Force activates. She's going to negate it. She's special so he's supposed to show them as those two now. Runs the field, it destroyed, becomes a mass token. Blackback is on the field. Special summoning that thing, but it's gonna turn into a token. Another card face down. Baron's drawing the face down. Summoning the horse that's going to turn into a mass token while getting Knight Joanne back to the hand. Destroying the mass token, destroying the black wing, and Baron is finishing this off. Um, how am I doing the AI duel list? There's a mod called offline mod that takes, makes it so you lose the multiplayer aspect of the game, but um, that lets you add input different decks to lets you have the AI duel with your decks. It's not that smart, so it won't actually do like the new it, new cards, but if it has like information from the old cards, like the old Tag Force games, which Master Duel seems to have. You can play a lot of different decks. Next up is Antinomy versus Leo. Antinomy and Leo. I built decks like. I built a lot of decks actually, so. I just have them duel each other. Have little. create little tournaments for it. I think it's fun. I think some people will enjoy it too, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Antinomy has a really good deck, but let's see if Leo can beat him. Looks like Metal Skeleton destroys, and Screw Serpent is. Tax life most direct, like card face down. Self on activates. Draw one card. You can special summon that. They can synchro. Yes, I did and give Leo his elf on. Not like he really uses it, but very well. Elbon destroys the skeleton. And a card face down. Reshrino is on the field, but God said no to this. Goodbye, Reshrino. And the serpent destroys the Elfon. Come on, Leo. Use Elfon. That's. Roll high, let's get something good. Skateboards, that's good. Well, that, that's safe one, not skateboard. Single material, gonna synchro off cell phone. 
what is a librarian? Yep. Some CG a librarian and a card face down. Leo's using his pot of avarice. Let's see what he if he can get a better hand. He gets lantern and the morphotronic cord. Destroys the face down card. Lantern just luckily is strong enough to defeat that. I wouldn't have attacks with a 200 attacker, but AI is dumb sometimes and will attack with zero attack monsters sometimes. TGX 3000 boosts up Librarian, destroying the Lantern. Does not look good for Leo. Leo's playing Dark Hole. Now, how is he going to turn this around? Datatron, attack for 1200. End phase. Rush Rhino adds a Jet Falcon. TG Striker and Falcons on the field. Falcon defeats him. Antinomy slash Bruno is the winner. Next up is Kellen versus Jacob. Right now, Kellen's working with the team signers, I guess. My head cannon lore. That's the only reason it's here. He's here. And there we go. Talon Sarkovus Necromancer. I'm putting two cards face down. And luckily, he has drew a lot of his monsters, so it's going to take a few, few turns to get a little weak. That side effect destroys itself. Grandel's on the field, attacks 1600. Let's call a haunted necromancer again. Sacrifice it for destroyer. And Marifor destroys destroyer. At least he got his high-level monster out of his hand, so hopefully he can figure out a way to get the rest of his cards out of hand so he can win. Setting card does not look good for him. Jacob is in Call of Haunted. Last Spider. Last Spider destroys the Archer. Infinity Reflector discards his whole hand. Switch to an Archer. Fix a thousand. And card him. And 17. Kellen's only at 1300 left. Let's see if Kellen can turn this around. Looks like he drew the zero max, which he's going to activate. Can destroy her. Just can't attack this turn, though. Jacob's playing defensive. Destroy your attacks. Destroy his effect. Skills effect too. Skill summons the weasel. Destroy his effect 1600. Come on, Callan, turn this around. He's gonna pay 500 to, to stop that Mechlord army's spell card. Weasel is playing defensive. Destroy your attacks to Weasel. Inflicting 1800 damage, 1600 damage. And turn. Jacob's getting worried, so he's playing his Pot of Avarice, trying to get some of his Mech Lords back and see what he can counter something. Put his two cards face down. Will it be enough, though? Destroyers. Destroyers. Doesn't destroy it. 
protects him for a turn at least. Blast Spider says let's destroy those two. And the core gets its effects activated because it was destroyed. Summoning Grandel and Blast Spider inflicts damage. Grandel finishes us off. Looks like Jacobe is winning. One. Next up is Paradox versus Akiza. Can Akiza be one of the signers to move on? Uh, Paradox. Akiza. There we go. And there's Akiza. Anyway, Paradox is playing Malefic Terraforming to get his build spells. Normally that would cause him to break, and now you can summon his Chaos and Dragon. Destroy the Vine and a card face down. Kiza summons the Rose Girl and the Dark Verger and many cards face down. Minifeg World. Blood of Truth Dragon to the hand. They're going to attack, but the IV Core says no, and the Minifeg Claw says something. And Truth Dragon's paying half his life points to get on the field. So it's 5,000 damage. Mephilic Selection. Can move through those two cards. Add a some cards to his hand. She's spinning face down. Ivy Shackles activated. Turning that into a plant. There's a plant on the field, so Rose Girl can go back to the hand and a card face down. Most in the world. Let's see what else it's gonna take. Another Mephilic Strength. Truth destroys the Rose Girl. It's now a plant again. And since it's a plant, Rose Girl can go back to the hand again. Card base down. Looks like Cyber and Dragon's back to the hand again, too. Truth destroys Rose Girl. Looks like Akiza's holding strong, getting Rose Girl to the hand. Summon the Poison Phoenix Seed and a card base down. If she cannot stop the attack, she loses. Another Poison Ivy. Goodbye, Truth. Tunes adds those two cards to the hand. Now it's time for the Rainbow Dragon. Send those two cards, draw another card. Two cards. And now that's a plant again. Summon Rose Girl. Dark Bear is on the field. Synchro time. She's getting her Moonlight Dragon. Yes, it gave all variants of the, the Moon Dragons. All variants of the designer dragons to them, so they have a chance to do a lot of things, hopefully. Mouth of the world. Looks like they're getting another blue eyes white dragon this time. This time summoning a cyber end dragon. That's Paradox is moving on.
All right. Looks like mostly everyone are on the villain side except for Ellsworth. I have dubbed him as part of the hero side. Next one, C1 versus Primo. C1 Primo or Zone. Where is Zone? All right, Zone said her his time maiden and playing Empty Machine. Primo says let's dust tornado before anything. But I don't think it's destroyed. Oh, it is destroyed. I guess it didn't gain its effect that it can't be destroyed yet. Time Maiden's effects. Add that thingy. Sends all those cards in the hand and lets them draw cards instead. Things back on the field, destroyed itself, special summon two mech lords and two guards face down. Gabrion's disappeared. Met Metatron's on the field now. He's gonna send those away for 600. Weasel's on the field, but. Zone doesn't have any synchros, so I don't think it's he's gonna do too well against Zone. Cameron sends it back for 500. Weasel's on the field now. Cameron's going away. Someone's. Metatron, Metatron effect, send it away for 300. Alright. Weasel summons a monster and sets a card. Metatron goes away. And summoning Tetalon. Which attacks, destroys, burns, and ends turn. Primo is about has half his life points left. That's and he's hasn't found a way to win. Sandal's gone. Well, Raptian's on the field now, and it burns for eighteen. Back with soldiers on the field. Wild Tornado said, "No, that's not going to happen." Primo just has to wait until. Zone doesn't have any cards left, and then he can start attacking life points directly. Mechlord summons Skeel. Raphion's gone. Metatron's on the field again. Destroying Weasel and burning. 600. Alright, come on. That one's gone. Now I would summon Halen. But I guess we're summoning Gabron. Primo's running out of his hands pretty huge now. If only he ran Exodia, he might be winning. Yeah, it's a weasel to his hand anyway. This card's that destroys Grandel. Weasel's on the field. Gavin goes away. That one's on the field, does not want to attack. Skills now on the field. That one's gone. Let's go summon Lazion. 
Lazian attacks. Send all those good back to the deck. Lazan burns for a thousand because he drew a card. Another weasel on the field. Lazan's going back to the deck. Sadion's on the field now. And I guess they don't want to attack with that one. I don't know what that one does, but. Grand Isle's on the field. Let's see if Zone runs out of cards. No, you've got a Halion right at the last minute. Would you summon in? That one doesn't want to attack though, for whatever reason. Zone, running out of cards. What's he gonna do? He found a Zafion. Zafion would help. Zafion attacks. Mechlord Blast is activated. Destroying those two cards though. Primo's holding on. See, so it's running out of cards himself. Basically, he bricked right now. He's eating his turn. Weasel just is only one attacking. I don't know if he's the only one allowed to attack or something, but. Does not look good for its own. Alright, he just has to do two more attacks and he wins. And you can destroy a card, so he's going to do it. We're not going to activate Backup Soldier. I think Primo actually might have this one. A bit of removal. There we go. Primo's moving on. Okay, that was the longest duel. Next up is Lester versus Ellsworth. Master versus Ellsworth. It'll be up to Ellsworth to defeat everyone. This true six samurais. It starts with a set card. Chambermaid attacks, summons the sword master, attacks, skills destroyed, adds another skill, and master destroys it. Summon in a weasel, two cards face down, and that's it for him. Grandel's on the field, weakens up the grandmaster, but Ma Mirror Forest says, nope, get out of here, both you guys. Grandmaster gets his le tech points left back. Can six samurai is on the field now. They all decide to attack. He's not synchroing. I think he needs a little four to synchro. Reboot is activated, sending skill back to the deck. They're just adding Grando to the hand. Grando's on the field. Against the Grandmaster. Hannah Six Samurai destroys Grandel, summons Sheehan, Counselor, and Ellsworth is moving on. Next up is Sherry versus Antenomy. There's Sherry. 
Twist Antinomy. Enemy summons her noble knight Joanne and ends her turn. Second noble knight on the field. Destroying the Falcon. The other noble knight attacks for 1600. Striker special summons the field. Werewolves on the field. Synchro summon into a Liberian. Attacking no one, but Pleasance of Revolution. Pleasure of whatever. That destroys it. Oh, it stops Synchro summons. Okay, that's fun. Special summons TG Liberian. Gives one wand to the Fleur. Destroying the Serpent, looking 3700 damage. Flora destroys it. Literally last, last activates. Yes, this army is a big archetype that blends well together. I agree. Looks like Dark Hole's activating. Discern the structure and zombie attacks. Joanne's on the field now. Attacks. Attacks for a thousand. And she puts a card face down. Two more cards for go face down. Spear Holder is now on the field too. Joanne destroys the Grub. Spear Holder attacks for 800. Antanomy is only at 400 life points left. And I felt like he was one of the better contenders in this tournament. I guess Sherry is saying no to that. There we go. Where's my mouse? Oh, wrong side. Uh, Sherry is the winner on that one. Next up is Jacob versus Paradox. Well, not Jack, Jacob. And Paradox. Jacoby, that there. And the Mystery Paradox. Mechlar Empire destroys the Infinite Core. Summoning the Grandel, it's 4,000 attack runs already. Paradox can also special summon a 4k beater as well. We're just gonna play Dark Hole. We're just destroyed, adding Grand Elbuck to the hand. You got his own field spell and three cards face down. I guess he doesn't have any of his big monsters in his hand already, or he would summon that too. Assembly destroys infant core. Destroying the Mifflin world, it looks like. Grandel special summoned. Mechlord's also another one of those cards that they can do quite a little bit. Alright, there we go. Jacob has another 4k Emperor. 
Mephilic Fusion gets special summon, but that didn't really help out. Scales on Phil for 14, Grandel for 4000. And he has a Blast Spider just in case. Which he's gonna summon, but God said no to that one. Get it out of here, Blast Spider. Randell finishes off. Paradox, I might see you soon, but you lost this round. Alright, top four at Primo, Ellsworth, Sherry, and Jacob. Let's go with Primo and Ellsworth right now. Next week, I'm thinking about having some kind of. S I am having a tournament, but I'm going to have like a surprise tournament. I'm going to have people vote for three options and still keep it somewhat hush hush of what it, they are. Just. We'll see which one. It would be the best one out of them all. I'm going to have people vote and winner gets it. Ellsworth basically had a Kamikaze right there, and a card face down. Grandel's on the field. Oh, help if I face is on. Uh, where's Elf? Is call haunted. Tom Jetsman says God said no to that. Get out of here. Nastashi's on the field, riding a horse, attacking her 1600. Six Samurai Castles on the field, which he should have activated beforehand. But whatever. Primo cuts card face down. Warrior retaining alive, that's good. Uh, Zanji back on the field. But God said no. Jesus is the only one get resurrected here. Not Zanji. Oh. Primo's in the red life points. Card face down. Looks like that's all you can do. Even though, what, can't you summon this thing? What's oh, an Emperor? Never mind. Alright, Ellsworth is the winner. Uh, Ellsworth's winner. Let's see, Sherry or Jacob, who's gonna move on this one? Cherry and Jacob. Not sitting in a tree. Alright, Jacob's gonna summon his friend Elle, but. Sherry says no, that's not where it's gonna go first. Get out of here. God said no to that. Card face down. No Knight Spirit Bearer sacrifice itself so we can get a Floral Knight to a hand. Special summon the Floral Knight to get a Shield Bearer to the hand. Fusion up. Distant Armina. So I have to throw our special summons, but destroy those two cards. 
while Tornado destroys Sorcerer Losage. Adding a Necro Flare. And in turn. Infinite Cores on the field. Adding Assembly. Assembly is activated. Adding a Grandel. Reboot activates. Sending a skill back so you can get some added Grandel to the hand, I guess. Discard a card, target a card, destroy it. Its effect activates the Emperor Grandel's on the field. Borke Beater on the field already. And Sherry Lawson. Turn four. Uh, worse. Sherry lost, but she also has a chance to become third place versus Primo, which hopefully won't go just as badly. Let's move Primo into the field. Please check up with Primo. Oh, looks like she's already getting her fusion out really quickly. Fusion, through since Armina. I activate that spell card. Now we're only have a mask back here. Which I don't like. I hate that spell card. I think Randall can just destroy the fusion. No gets we can. I don't know if this spell card is going to be good versus Primo since I think it destroys a monster to special summon the token, so. And it seems like she doesn't want to play Soulbinding Gate or Z1. I don't know if she can. I think she can play Soulbinding Gate. I don't know about the zone. They were in her deck in the anime, so I gave her them, so. Weasel attacks, destroying the Mina. Jerry's it's time for a dark hole. Let's get out of here. And a card base down. McLeod Army activates that trap card is activated. Turns that into a spider. Mirror Force, that you're lucky that you didn't have them all in attack mode. Joanne is destroyed. Mask is on the field. Mask destroys Weasel. Primo says, Sign for Pot of Adverse. Let's get some of these monsters back. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Draw two cards. Skills gonna attack, but limited removal. Putting 500 damage. That thing is on the field, it's destroyed. Necroflare is on the field, destroying it. Summoning a mass token. Flurr's effect adds a sorcerer to Flurr. Flurr's effect adds a that thingy. Attack for 2900. Now it's destroyed. Its effect activates. Bird for 100. Or zero, I guess. Sorcerer attacks for 29. 
set card. Grandel destroys it. A sorcerer is going to get weak, half life, half attack points. Summoning Joanne, destroyed. Such as own token, torrential tribute. Darn it, that's a really good hit. I think Sherry was going to win this right there. Sending a card. The Mech Lord is destroyed, but a mass token is on the field. Sherry's turn. Reinforcements the army. Adding in Noble Knights. Noble Knights destroyed. But the token's on the field now. Destroying the other token. Cherry smart not to synchro th this battle. She does have some synchros that in her arsenal. Guess she does not want to attack. Astro is activating. Special summoning some of the uh, those things. That destroys itself to summon other two things. Core is on the field now. Core is going to get turned into a mask. Boon of the Mech Lords is active the hand. Destroy that. That was destroyed. It's effect activates, especially in Grandel. Experiments destroyed. Burn for 400. Necro Flare is destroyed and activates. Summon Sorcerer. Sorcerer's effect. Add that back to the hand. Such a Defleur. Special Summon Self. Destroying those. Wild Tornado destroys that. Sorcerer attacks. Mass attacks. Sausage attacks. I think it's Sage or Saj. Looks like Primo's gonna be losing this one. Saj attacks and wins. Cherry is our number three today. Alright, final rounds. Ellsworth versus Jacob. If Ellsworth wins, it's a good ending. If Jacob wins, it's a bad ending, but doesn't really affect anything else. Let's find Ellsworth. And Jacoby. Or Jose. In the actual Spanish. Come on, riding a horse, coming in battle. Weasel's on the field, activate that spell card. Doubling Weasel skills attack. And they both have attack to actually destroy this. Come on. Nisashi says he's the one to ride a horse into battle this time. That card activates, but Dustrinado says nope. That's not happening. Grandel's on the field now, too. Beating Nasashi. Limited removal. 
That's a lot of damage. Alrighty. Looks like for this match, the Arc Cradle AI Tournament, Team Arc Cradle as winner. Jacob is the leader, I guess, now. He is right here, so I guess he did pretty good. All right. Talk to you guys later. I'm going to head off. It's, it was actually a really short tournament. It's time an hour long. I think the next one's probably going to be on the shorter side, too. Depending on which theme it's going to go to. I have three themes. I'm going to upload a poll later today, see which... But I'm going to keep it somewhat secretive. So, hopefully then. Pet your pets. Have a good day. See you again soon.